रेनोल्ड्स नंबर द रेशो ऑफ इनर्शियल फोर्स टू विस्कस फोर्स is called reynolds number denoted by r so this r is equal to inertial force upon viscous force viscous force and this is purely a number reynolds number is a pure number pure number so it has no dimension having no unit it means its dimensions kya hon This is now m zero, l zero, t zero. This is now this so much. The Reynolds number is given by. following formula now this r is equal to rho u l upon mu where rho equal to density of liquid in किलोग्राम पर मीटर क्यू एंड यू वेलोसिटी ऑफ फ्लो ऑफ द लिक्विड इन मीटर पर सेकेंड एंड एल दिस इज माई स्पेसिफिक लेंथ characteristic linear dimension in meter this is taken in meter and mu this is the dynamic viscosity
viscosity viscosity of liquid in meter square second so this is the formula and this Reynolds number decides the nature of the flow of the liquid Reynolds number decides the nature of flow of the liquid. It means that which will be the uh, which will be the nature of the liquid whether this is streamline or this is uh, turbulent flow then which kind of flow will take place either streamline or the turbulent that is based upon this Reynolds number and you can see from here that this Reynolds number is independent of the characteristic of the tube in which the liquid flows so whether the tube is of large radius or the smaller radius then this is independent of that one Reynolds number does not depend upon radius of the tube. this of tube through which liquid is flowing it is independent of this radius so we can say that this r is proportional to r to the power 0 this is like this one we are at the radius of tube, radius of tube. So now, if R is greater than zero and less than two thousand, the flow of liquid. is a streamline a streamline or laminar flow laminar flow if r is greater than 2000 and less than 3000 the flow of liquid liquid becomes turbulent and if R is greater than 3000 the flow 
of liquid is highly turbulent is highly turbulent so this number like this one if this is between 0 to 2000 then flow of the liquid will be streamlined or the laminar flow if this is greater than 2000 less than 3000 the flow of the liquid becomes turbulent if r is greater than 3000 then the flow of the liquid is highly turbulent so now <coughs> We can have now you can see that these are the low values. So for low value of Reynolds number. It means that in this case, the viscous force are dominant. The viscous force of liquid are dominant. dominant <clears throat> it means what that the viscous force viscous force is very very greater than this inertial force inertial force So this becomes for the low values when the flow of the liquid is streamlined. It is streamlined flow of liquid. And now for high values of Reynolds number Reynolds number the inertial force is dominant Inertial force is dominant. So it means what? That the viscous force is very, very less than inertial force. Then the flow of the liquid is governed by the inertial force. So this is the case of turbulent flow. The turbulent flow is governed by inertial force. inertial force 
So there is nothing about the viscous force. Viscous force becomes very less. So we can neglect them. Only the flow is governed by the inertial force, like the Newtonian force, uh, that we are having the centripetal force and the pseudo force, etc. So they govern to this one. Thus, Reynolds number plays a very important role to know the nature of the flow of the liquid. When the Reynolds number is low, then the flow will be the streamline or laminar. When Reynolds number is high, then the flow becomes turbulent. So this is what that we have the cases of the viscous force and the inertial force. For high value of Reynolds number, the viscous force are dominant and for low values uh, uh, for low values of the Reynolds number the viscous force are dominant and for a high value of Reynolds number the inertial force are dominant so that is this number decides whether the flow of the liquid will be laminar or it will be the uh, turbulent flow so thank you very much.